Welcome, Wanderer, to the democratic center of Athens, otherwise known as the Pnyx. My name is Aspasia. Though I am not originally from Athens, I have climbed to the top of its social ladder using my wit and intellect. I've even earned the love of Pericles, one of the most powerful men in the city. The mind truly is a beautiful thing. The battles fought here may be more intellectual than bloody, but they are no less spectacular. These outcomes will affect an entire city in a different way. The Phoenix was the meeting place of the Athenian assembly and the physical embodiment of democracy at work. This tour will give you insight into how citizens made decisions and kept the city running. We can talk more when you have finished the tour. See you soon, Wanderer. The Athenian assembly was known as the Ecclesia. It met at the Pnyx 40 times a year to discuss various civic matters, and each session usually lasted a few hours. The word Pnyx is believed to mean something close to packed together. This was probably a reference to the fact that during meetings of the Ecclesia, the location would be filled to its capacity, with citizens packed in practically shoulder to shoulder. All male citizens were allowed to directly participate in the democratic process. Those over 20 years old had the right to speak and vote, while those over 30 could be elected to the higher position of magistrate. In total, there were approximately 30,000 citizens in Athens in the classical period. To draft and adopt decrees, 6,000 of them had to attend the meeting. Citizens came from all over Attica's ten districts to attend the meetings of the Ecclesia. The meeting was presided over by an executive council called the Pritones. Every session began with a sacrifice to Zeus Agoreos, the patron of the assembly. During the meeting, citizens delivered speeches from the Pnyx's platform on whatever issues the city faced. Afterwards, the issue was voted on with a show of hands from the gathered assembly. The Ecclesia made important decisions about subjects like grain importation, expenses, and declarations of war. While they could not directly enact laws, they had a say in appointing Athens' legislators, which gave them a large role in shaping the city's daily operations. While some citizens only participated in the sessions of the Ecclesia, others could become more involved in democracy as magistrates. Magistrates were elected from among Athenian citizens over 30. They were often successful orators and charismatic politicians, and they held much more sway over important decisions than the average citizen. One of the most famous magistrates was Pericles, who was so popular, he held his position for 15 years. In theory, Every Athenian citizen over the age of 20 had the right to participate in the assembly. However, some of them lived far from the city, and others could not financially afford to miss a day of work to attend meetings. For these reasons, the city introduced a special allowance called a misthos ecclesiasticos in the 4th century BCE, meant to encourage participation. Originally, it was two obols, but the politician Cleon raised it to three. Athens introduced several innovations that heavily influenced modern society, including theater, architecture, and philosophy. However, 
Their greatest contribution was their democratic government, which introduced the concept of a city ruled by its citizens. The decision to adopt democracy as a government, a choice made in 508 BCE, shaped civilization as we know it and continues to affect us today. Hello again, Wanderer. I trust you appreciated learning about the inner workings of the city. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Then let's start with a simple question. Approximately how many citizens were in Athens in my time? Yes, there were approximately 30,000 citizens in Athens, although the population as a whole was much larger. On to the second question. Who of the following was a famous Athenian magistrate? Yes, Pericles was an extremely popular magistrate who managed to keep his position for 15 years. Only one question left. What does the word Penix mean? Correct. The Panix was usually crowded with citizens attending meetings of the Ecclesia. You know enough about democracy to be a politician yourself. Well done, Wanderer. Very well. Farewell, Wanderer. Pops on. Oh, please, man.